Louisiana Purchase by Jack, Ricky, Noah, and Blake. In 1845, John L. Sullivan, a newspaper editor, first used the words manifest destiny. He wrote that one day the U.S. could control all the land between the Rocky Mountains and the Appalachian. At this time, it seemed like a dream, but little did we know that it would become true. Before the Louisiana Purchase, the U.S. was only 13 states. We had all the land east of the Appalachian Mountains. Great Britain, France, Russia, and the Indians controlled all the land west of the Appalachians. In 1803, Thomas Jefferson sent James Monroe to France to purchase the city of New Orleans for $7.5 million. He wanted to keep the port open so the U.S. could continue to buy and sell goods. When Monroe arrived, the French ruler, Napoleon Bonaparte, continued to, to offer him to sell the whole Louisiana territory. Monroe agreed, and this became known as the Noble Bargain. Even though the purchase doubled the nation, the size of our nation, some people did not agree with it. Some thought that it would cost too much money. Others said that the land would be hard to govern. After purchasing Louisiana, Jefferson sent Lewis and Clark on an expedition to explore and map the new territory, as well as find the Northwest Passage, a water route that crossed North America. Along the way, they met a fr French fur trapper and his Indian wife. Sacagawea. They hoped that she would translate for them when they encountered the Indian tribes, as well as they come ah, come, came, across, ah, came upon the Rocky Mountains. However, they had a problem. To make it across before the winter came, they needed horses. To their surprise, they came across a tribe of Shoshone Indians, the same tribe Sacagawea had been when she was little. They found that her brother was the new sh chief and was persuaded him to give the explorers horses to cross the mountains. After spending the winter in Oregon, the ex explorers headed back. In September 1806, almost two and a half years after they were sent out, they returned to St. Louis, although they did not find the Northwest Passage because it did not exist. They had maps and news that they established good relationship with Western Indians. Lewis and Clark weren't the only explorers to discover the vast new region. Explorer John C. Fairmont earned the nickname the Pathfinder by mapping much of the land between the Mississippi Valley and the Pacific Ocean. His descriptions of the land inspired many families to head west. The Louisiana Purchase led to many things once the land was explored and mapped. Many settlers decided to head west. This eventually made them want to expand and keep growing. Ultimately, this was the first step in the U.S. quest for manifest destiny.